Huntington Beach Pro presented by Starboard. Another beautiful day here at Huntington. The sun came out. The waves are a little smaller. So we saw our fiercely contested quarterfinals with the top half of the draw seeing Kai Lenny and Colin McPhillips really dominating. The bottom half of the draw saw Starboard team riders Sean Pointer and Zane Schweitzer ripping it up, making it through to the semifinals. Yeah, it was, it was fun, you know, small, smaller than yesterday, a little inconsistent, but uh, a lot of waves I ended up catching nearly my eight, eight wave mark, so but that's kind of what you got to do out there in conditions like this. You just get your wave and hope it kind of you know materializes for you, steepens up, and you can do some turns off it and, and cutties and stuff. So, oh, uh, you know, it was a little bit scary out there. You know, there's no, I'm not scared in the sense that there's waves or anything because there's not. But um, you know, it was it was fun with, if you found a wave. It was slow. It was definitely nerve wracking. You know, just being out there knowing that uh. You know, a wave could come in at any time to weather, you know, wherever you are, you know, everyone's sitting at a different place pretty much and it's all over the place for the day like this and I'm actually a little very shaken to see what uh, what happens in the next one. And in the bottom heat, Antoine Del Piro, Leco Salazar from Brazil, making it through to the semifinals, just putting on an incredible performance. I, I just surfed my hardest. The waves were really small. I tried to pull a couple 360s. I finished one. The wave kind of was mushy, but it was awesome. I, I just had fun. The sun's out. It's a beautiful day here in HB. In semi one, we saw kind of a controversial heat as Kai Lenny led the heat all the way through, got two epic waves, but had a controversial wave where um, him and Colin were on the same wave. Colin pulled back and it was actually deemed an interference. Despite this, he still made it through to the finals. So just squeaking ahead of Aaron Napoleon. Colin McPhillips moving forward in first. For one of the most fiercely contested finals of the Stand Up World Tour so far, we saw an epic display of riders out there. The conditions were deteriorating fast, but nonetheless, the riders got out there and just took it apart for the half hour of the, of the finals. Really happy to be in the final, and uh, I gave my best, so I don't know, we were waiting for the results, and finger crossed, I <laughs> hope I, I get a good placement. Hope I win this one. I think that's the best surfing I showed during the whole contest, so probably get good scores, but you never know. Everybody like show a lot of good stuff, new stuff, and that was an amazing contest, so uh, I, I will be really happy to win this one. In the end, it was Antoine Del Perro from France who managed to come out on top with some epic rail-to-rail -rail surfing and progressive moves, closely followed by Colin McPhillips from California, right here, just half an hour south of Huntington Beach. In third place, Leco Salazar put together a fluid performance, really great riding, just a, a point two or something behind Colin McPhillips. Estou feliz de fazer mais uma final, grande resultado. Sou novo aí no circuito e para mim pô, é uma honra fazer parte com grandes nomes aí do circuito mundial. And in fourth place, Kai Lenny, current world champion, not really finding his form in the final, not really finding the waves, kind of rushed it, didn't get the waves he wanted. Um, so he finished in fourth place, but another great result, adding to his two victories and a third so far this year. Uh, you know, it didn't really go the way I'd like it to have gone, for sure. But what can you say, you know, I kind of ran my waves out too early. Kind of was a pretty rookie move by my part, but, you know, it's going to be close, I think. I got a couple all right waves. Nothing that I'm particularly really stoked about, but you never know, right? <laughs>
So a great result for everyone concerned. Antoine Del Perot, I think, I believe we need to check the scorings, but he moves into second place overall. He's got a real chance at the title if he can put together two good performances in the last two events of the year. So aside from the main event today, we had the first ever People's Choice Super Session. This was an audience voted in terms of participation, but also audience judged event. In the end, Zane Schweitzer ended up becoming the champion of the People's Choice, the first ever People's Choice champion, as he won ahead of a great field of athletes from all over the world. So Zane wins a trip to Tahiti on Air Tahiti Nui. So as we wrap an epic event here at Huntington Beach, we scored amazing conditions. Even though the last day wasn't quite as good as the first three days, we did nonetheless luck out right here at Surf City USA. So for me, Tristan Boxford, director of the Stand Up World Tour, wish you warm aloha, and we'll see you soon at Brazil, the next stop on the Stand Up World Tour from the 22nd to the 30th of October. Aloha.